How to get started in game development. Passion and dedication. Though creating games can be a fun and exciting adventure, we'd be lying if we said it was also an easy one. Whether you're new to it or a seasoned vet, each new game brings with it new challenges and many don't have an easy or straightforward solution. And while developing games can simply be a fun pastime, becoming a professional or successful indie game developer requires a lot of time, energy, dedication, and passion. The game industry is extremely competitive, and while we're not suggesting as a solo game developer you need to single-handedly be able to produce the next Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty to succeed, you do need to be able to produce art, design, or code that is quality enough to be incorporated in those games if working at a professional game studio is your goal. One of the first questions you need to ask yourself is what is it about video games that you love or are most passionate about? Is it the art, the storytelling, the gameplay, or maybe even the technology? One of the first steps of getting into making video games is determining what direction you want to go in and each discipline of game design, art, and development has multiple branching paths that you can specialize in. And while your interest in the different areas of game development may vary, even experienced developers who are proficient in multiple areas of game development will often have an area of development that they are far better at than others. Oftentimes, they are able to leverage their skills in these areas to allow them to successfully develop and launch games that leverage their strengths and hide their shortcomings. Minecraft is a prime example of this. While the art in the original Minecraft may be rudimentary, it more than made up for this in game mechanics and technology. Design your game around your skills and strengths. Constraints force us to be creative and think outside the box. If you're a great artist, create a beautiful game with simple gameplay. If you're a great programmer, create a technically complex game with a minimalistic art style. If your dream is to work for a game studio, your focus shouldn't be coming up with new, unique, and innovative ideas. Your focus should be on how to turn an idea into a tangible reality. If you get to a point you're stuck or unsure how to create or implement a certain mechanic, don't be afraid to reach out and ask. All the major engines have active communities that allow you to post questions on their forums. There are also several forums on places like Reddit with plenty of people who will be more than happy to lend their advice or assistance. Additionally, introspection and the ability to take criticism are two of the primary skills you'll need to succeed in the game development industry. As passionate as you may be, and as much as the game you're making is a labor of love that you're itching for the world to experience, games aren't created in a vacuum. For you to develop a truly great game, you'll need to accept and recognize feedback from testers and players. And while not all criticism, or even most in many cases, will be constructive, even the harshest criticism can contain gems of insight or ideas to help you create a better game or experience. And in some cases, you'll simply have to accept your idea or concept just isn't working. Or perhaps the time it will take to get it to the level you envisioned just isn't worth it. In cases such as these, it's important to realize you're not a failure or a quitter. A crucial skill in this industry is the ability to be agile. Don't get married to any one idea, concept, or way of doing things. Instead, be flexible enough that you're constantly evaluating what you're doing, finding things that work and don't work, and are able to shift gears at a moment's notice. But most importantly, love the journey, not the destination. It's not uncommon for a AAA game to take two years or more to complete. Even indie games, depending on the size of the game or the studio, can take just as long, if not longer. While oftentimes everyone involved is excited to see the fruits of their labor and ready to present it to the world, you need to be equally excited, if not more so, about the time you spend developing that product. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification so you can be the first to see our latest video.